All right, this next video is going to be for numbers one through five on the mixed practice. So it says Nate wants to predict how many people use the internet each day based on their age. The graph shows the age and daily average internet usage for a sample of people. I know this is a very wordy packet, but it's really important that we start to understand what all these words are saying. The question is, which statement is the best description of the association or the relationship, right? That's what that means between the two variables. Now, let's just look at this in general. I think that looks, it's hard to tell if there's positive or negative association there, so we can't make that guess. And it looks kind of like a weak association. So let's see what the multiple choice is saying. As age increases, interset, internet use always increases. So age is here. So what that's saying is as age goes up, as you get older, your internet use went up. Does that seem to be true? And that doesn't seem to be true. Because some of these older people are using a lot less internet than the people up here. So I'm going to say A is not true. Let's look at B. B says internet use was highest for people between 20 and 35 years old. Well, let's see. Here's 20 and here's 35. Here's their internet use. Yeah, those seem to be the highest on the scatter plot. So I think B is the answer. The C is none of the above, so I think I'm going to go with B. Number two is an old OST question. Right? So we've talked about how easy some of these can be for your Ohio State test to get those 12 points you need to get a three. A linear model shows the relationship between the number of grocery items you buy and the cost of your grocery bill has a correlation coefficient of 0.97. Now here's where people get confused. What's correlation coefficient? Well, that's just the R value. Remember, those words mean the same thing. So which one about that R value is true? So it says, does purchasing more items cause a higher cost to the grocery bill? If the grocery bill has a higher cost, then more items must have been purchased. There is no relationship. Well, automatically I can cross that one off because I have a strong positive R value here. That means there is a relationship. And remember, no relationship would be an R value of zero. C can't be right because there is a relationship. D, there's a strong relationship between the number of items you purchase and the cost of your bill. That's actually my answer. And I'll go back to tell you why A is. But we know it's a strong relationship between the two. That's the words I was looking for. Now, A is not right because it says purchasing more items causes you to have a higher grocery bill. And that's not true. Think about it, if you go to the grocery store. <coughs> you can go to the grocery store and buy one item, like one cut of beef, that's really expensive, and it could cost you $45 for like a, a turkey or a really nice roast for Christmas. One item. Or you can go to the store and buy 20 yogurts that are all a dollar and it costs you less than $20. So the number of items does not force you to have a bigger grocery bill. That would be the cost of the item. So that's why D is your answer. Three is also an OST. You should notice between our notes in this packet, there were a lot of OST questions about scatter plot and R value. So three says, a store manager records the number of visitors and their sales in dollars for 10 days. What conclusion can the manager draw? <laughs> so it says an increase in sales, and I think here's sales on this side, and I think this part got cut off, but this is the number of visitors down here. So an increase in sales causes a decrease in visitors. An increase in visitors causes an increase in sales. <laughs> and I always want to be wary of the word causes. All right? Normally when we're doing scatter plot. We don't want to use the word cause because we're just talking about relationships between things. So typically, if you see cause in a scatter plot, that's not going to be the right answer. C says an increase in sales is correlated with a decrease in visitors. And an increase in visitors is correlated with an increase in sales. Well, correlated is more the word we want because correlated means associated with or related to. And when I look about that, I should notice that as the number of visitors goes up, the more people they get, notice that this is positive. The number of visitors is becoming more. 
I'm sorry, the number of sales. And that makes sense. The more people that come into your store, typically the more things that are sold. So I'm going to choose that one. An increase of visitors is correlated with an increase in sales instead of the similar one that used the word causes. I don't like that word causes for scatter plot. Number four and five are simple. Choose a scatter plot that matches the description here. The first one says there's a strong positive linear association. Well, A is negative. B, it looks like there's no association. C does look strong and linear, so C is my answer. Number five says there's a moderately strong negative association. Well, A is positive, that's not right. B is negative, and C looks negative too, but moderately strong would mean they're still pretty close together. So I'm going to go with B as my answer. All right, that's the first video. If you need help on anything else on the packet, go ahead and look at the next video.